All right, we got practice today at my old high school. This is where I grew up. This is where I had my first wrestling practice ever with Rick Larson Wrestling Club Freestyle. And this is the high school that I went to in the same town um, that my dad's from, um, where my grandparents from, from U former Yugoslavia and Serbia, that's where they, they immigrated to Cedar Lake actually. And they, they, they had a farm out here. So yeah, so I actually, this is where I went to the same high school as my dad and my aunt and uncles, my, my uh, aunt and uncle. And uh, yeah, this is sometimes uh, um, I'll come out here, which it's really close to my house. And run a pra like run have a practice um, with uh, one of one of my training sparring partners, John Morrison, who is a all and a NCL All American for Okie State. Um, and then this is also the school where Andrew Howe went, who was a national champ from Wisconsin, and he was like Burroughs uh, Olympic alternate like twice. So uh, we have like for being a small school, I, we have always had like really cool, uh, really good wrestling from an individual standpoint. Um, that's pretty awesome. Andrew Howe, legend, and so him and John Morrison actually run a kids club out of this high school, so that's why we'll just meet here, which is cool, because John and me, like John well, grew up through the Rick Larson Wrestling Club, He's, he went to school across in Illinois, went to uh, Carl Sandburg High School, um, but you know, we've known each other since I was like oh, uh, middle school, high school, because he's been a little bit older than me, when he was at Okie State, he was trying to get me to wrestle there, but the cool thing is, with the Michigan connection, uh, Sean Bormet actually coached all of us. He coached me at some point in our careers, you know. Coached me, coached Andrew Howe, coached the Petrov brothers, coached John Morris, and all either through, through overtime or from, through Michigan or through Cliff Keen. And John ended up, because of Sean, coming to Cliff Keen to train. So John had helped me get a lot of, uh, make a lot of growth and at that college level when I was trying to make the jump to the senior level freestyle when I started wrestling for Serbia. So it was really awesome to have John in the room who was, you know, he won the Bill Farrell. He was on the national team for USA, you know, 61 kilos. So now that he's finished, I mean, I'm like, man, John, you gotta get back to wrestling. So uh, I mean, him and Paul, I, I'm very thankful for both of them, you know. Uh, their flexibility and being able to work out with me is pretty cool. So it's like having two you know, high level training partners kind of at my disposal in the way that, you know, they're able to work with me and focus more on my individual days that I, I got to break down things. But they can also go hard and go live when, I, when we need as well. Um, when, you know, I can't always switch up the partners. So it's, it's pretty sick. And they're just finishing up high school practice. Too. Now, this is my friend Stefan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. No, I, uh, he, he, I was showing him downstairs, like, the stuff okay. down here. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Ash is just here working out. He helps out with some of the heights of the heavyweight here. He's uh, one of my teammates with younger brothers. is pretty tough. But it's funny because he's, like, doing our senior level practices. He's just coming here. I'm like, just look over. I'm like, you're not in high school. <laughs> but, you know, I'm like, Ash and Sitchin, they're both situation actually we're, we're trying to get him to compete for Nigeria for the Olympics he has dual citizenship and uh, you know he gets to take a uh, top two at the African Championships and at heavyweight I, it's very doable I mean Ashton had a, a good career in NAI I think it's possible uh, you know he got third in national for NAI at Campbellsville so I'm like dude you, can, you know the opportunity we're bringing in all these good wrestlers coming in plus he's already helping a high school kid out I was like might as well so probably why he's hitting some sprints <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, that was 
I thought doing this, you're pulling this arm out, right? Yeah. Or just, you know, like, yeah. like yeah, you, you have his wrist, so go again. Or drag. Yeah. On both of those. If, it's because it's the same motion as the snap of the single. I can hit a drag. Yeah. Grab his wrist, that guy. You can drag his arm when he grabs your wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You can grab his wrist, those are the three things that's going to happen. Right when they roll it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like it works really good. You know, like, let's say you've got a collar and somehow you close it right away. Yep. As they drag it right away. Don't oh, 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 I'm dry. I'm sorry. I'm As sorry. I'm taking it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seems like it works better, right? It does. It does. Because you're misdirecting. They think they're in control and all of a sudden, oh crap. Yeah, it's like they're doing the work for you. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It seems counterproductive, but it's actually easier when I'm jockeying John forward and he doesn't push back and he rolls the wrist because I'm pulling him forward. Versus this shot, like you did yesterday when you were giving me short time. Most guys, when I start pushing in and they start pushing backwards, that's when you jockey back to me. You know what I mean? That's when this shot's gonna work really good. And they lean back in. Yeah, yeah. But when they don't lean in, then I can't drag it because he reaches my hand. I'm here, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. See, I'm pulling it forward. Yeah. I think that's gonna be a good combination. And I have here a same thing, right? Or you can shoot a single if you want. I'm saying you shoot one. Okay, I did what you said though. Try and bring single. Here, if you can't, like I have this other here. I would just drag it the weight, because if I miss it, I, I'm not going to miss it. It circles up. I can maybe reshoot it. Gotcha. Well, that one I shot. Well, it's okay. I'm still doing the same thing. That's right. I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> Probably helps my single the other This way, this way, it's, it's gonna be good. Collar or inside control. Give them that one. 
the past few months, I can't get where I want. Part snap, make a reset, then a, there's a good chance yeah. when they retie, I'll get what I want. Exactly. It's like I'm telling him. Remove it, remove it, snap it, snap it, snap it. Anticipate where it's going to, and then and you pop wear it. Yeah. You're doing a couple things. You're reacting, you're getting tired and everything. And he's yeah. Also, I, I like this too because it also, um, while I'm applying that pressure on you, yeah. I mean, the ties that I always do to move you, snap, fake, whatever. I mean, but I'm applying the pressure, and I'm also giving myself triggers for when you push back, I can go. You know, because when you push back, I'm dragging. When yeah. you push back, I can slide underneath you. When you push back, I can hit the high seat. Versus before, it was a lot of it, I'm, I created a lot of offense hitting you and moving you when I need points. But sometimes when the match just starts or whatever, it, took, it takes me some time to get that emotion moving, you know, because. We're, we're here, I'm blocking you, and I can't do anything. So I really, I have to get you, you know, lay your hands around. Yeah. And then I was going, which is fine, you need to, but sometimes you need to be able to, I think, you know, still be able to lay that pressure. Then, then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we want to a A little more of like, it's, it's, it's merging the threshold a little. I'm, I'm merging it a little bit. You know, they're not so, so separate. And then he's going to try to steer you left, right, every time? One side, other side. You don't have to be one side. Just yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to combine those in. My bra my brain is getting. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Keep working your brain. Come on. Is that okay? What I'm saying. It's okay. If you go that side. Change yeah. it. Yeah. That, that way, and then the other way. Go the other way. Oh, the other way. Yes. I know, but I, I don't like the way that I have to do this. Well, it's, it's like you do with an elbow pull. I know, but let's just like, keep it simple. Oh, okay. Let's go one piece by piece. Let's okay. do the other side first. Right. If I can get that side, we move to the other side. Just go to both. Good enough to get to a map. Let's go ahead, do it again. You can get feel it. Feel it since it's new. Get the action. Get the, you know the hand with the, which hand's coming up. Okay, it's okay. Oh, it's it's okay. Post. I gotta get in deeper though. But I don't think you're really. You're just taking the shot. You're not. I want you to focus on up and get removing this so that his body is doing what up uh, this. Yes. Open the window. Open the door this way. Get him to do that. Don't worry about the shot. <clears throat> worry about jacking him up. Go. Better? Yeah. You can pull that hand out and pull it up too. Look, watch. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. It's not a left leg lead single. It's not a single sweep. It's yeah. Left leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try. No, I agree. It's and, and the thing is when we if I'm switching from this side to this side, whatever it is, I think I need to kind of be shifting shifting square. Just like we do when I tie up. Exactly. Whenever I go to tie up, you know, I really helped in, when I went to Japan with this because the guys are so like darted in straight yeah. that I would circle my feet square, square. to and shift then, in you like this versus make like contact. To make contact with because I'm really good at those posts. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just do this. Go ahead. I'll just I'll just circle this way. See Same thing up. Same thing. Ah, okay, got it. So keep it that way. Just that think of it like that. Yeah. Got it. Okay, that's super simple then. My feet are placed right. I'm moving. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, man. See how I get that angle really yeah. well? And, and no danger of him if he misses. No. If you miss, nothing, nothing hurt. I mean, right. nothing. Uh, there's. You're not putting yourself in a risk. I always say I like a lot of attempts, but I don't like risky attempts. Right. I like to be able to recover. Or, or don't take the shot. Right. Because we don't want shots where they're going to spin around you, get you in the front head. Right. We want to get an angle on, on our shots yeah. and be able to recover properly. Right. That was perfect. Yes. That was the best. Just one. like that. That was good. That's nice. One more. One more. Okay. That's it. 
Thanks, John. Yeah, you got it. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Yep, see you. Sit down, sir. Yeah. So, takeaways. Today's practice. Uh, I think one of them is like kind of having the dynamic of the high low position when I'm in creating pressure. Um, because I've done such a good job with my hand fighting and positioning to close gaps, but um, and we're also getting space where we're clubbing, but we need to kind of keep doing kind of the same thing when I'm when I'm in control. So when I do have that those, that head positioning in the collar, I'm still getting the guy to bite on and react to my but to you my motion. Doing it at all before? No, that's why I'm saying that. Just got such a good fake. Yeah, and a good like you got to beat them and it's quick fake, and it's one that you got to respect because you're quick. Yeah, but the, the, the things I think from today, I mean, you, you said it really is, what I feel at least, because it's really hard on me, is when I'm trying to thumb block, snapping me, moving me, making me retie. If I'm keeping this hand back and not giving you anything, high, low, and open me up. Yeah, that's the best. Actually, that's and the best way. You can't wrist, drag. And being disappointed, not getting away from your body, keeping this. Because you could still drag from here, but you can't drag me. Right. Yeah. Before, what was the thing we preached on mostly? Getting a score when we needed a score. And that was probably the best thing that I was able to really say, hey, you did that stuff. You haven't ever really done that, but you did. Now, we need to kind of be able to, you know. That sustained pressure. Sustained pressure. Right? Because now, if, if it does come down to it, I believe in my skills to score. Right. And that's going to keep improving. But sustained we pressure. Did, we just can't let them slow us down. With Higuchi, this Higuchi almost balled me down. You know, where it felt where oh, he's he, he's strong, he's sturdy. I'm just going to get in kind of a pushing control match. Oh, that all of a sudden he's gone. You know, it, it, it was weird. It was weird wrestling him because it's not like you, you feel comfortable. You kind of feel, ah, oh, like this is a high level match. What the heck? You know? Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's snuck me, but. Luckily, I was able well, to really got recognize that. He's maybe the best that. single leg in the he's, world of yeah. any wrestler. Yeah. At any weight, best single leg in the world. Coach Smith said, said it's the best he's ever seen. Yeah. So, you know, so it's the double leg that I got upset about. Not the single leg. I know he had a good single leg. He did talk to me about it a lot. It's because of my staggered stance. We knew it was going to happen. Nobody can beat you if you make them wrestle. Yeah. 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 We just need to find the way to do it in the most, you know, in a yeah, efficient in, way. In an efficient way and subtle. Like it doesn't have to be. Before I was a little chaotic when I wrestled in college. I was very chaotic when I wanted to create the action and I made mistakes. A year and a half ago, when I would wrestle you, you didn't have any snaps. No. Now your snaps are so good that I can't do this because eventually I'm gonna come up and grab you and you're gone. Yeah. And that's a testament to you, don't you think? Oh, yeah, no, we, we, we've all around changed. Now, now your physical snaps in my college. hands and, and making me go here and, yeah. you know. All right, guys, good practice. Amen. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jamal. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.